Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Ventura TV. I'm Sandra Cepak. On today's show, we are welcoming Linda Braunschweiger. She is the CEO of Housing Trust Fund of Ventura County here in Ventura County, and we'd like to welcome her to the show. Thank you so much, Linda, for joining us. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here. Very good. Um, the Housing Trust Fund in Ventura County is a 501c3 uh, nonprofit, uh, which funds more housing choices by generating and providing financial resources. Um, your organization addresses housing concerns for all to have a safe and affordable place to live. So we'd like to hear yeah. more from you about the organization and uh, the role it plays in affordable housing. Yes. Well, we actually got started back in the early 2000s. Okay. A number of business people were concerned about the lack of affordability uh, and not able to attract uh, employees, not able to retain employees. So we looked at a bunch of different models, found the housing trust fund model across the country and decided that was the path for us. So we are unique in the sense that we leverage public money, private money, charitable money, uh, foundation money, all into a revolving loan fund. And then we lend to developers who are building affordable housing. Most of our lending is for multifamily, but we do some lending for single family on the development side, construction side. Okay. Now, yeah. are these um, rentals, mostly rentals? Yes, yes. So these are mostly rentals. The okay. time we got started, the real need, and I think still today, is rental apartments. There is a okay. need for some home ownership for sure, but we need to solve the problem with the extremely low income folks who can't find housing. So why is it so hard to find affordable housing in Ventura County? Is it uh, the problem that there isn't enough um, or not enough building? Uh, too much of uh, supply and demand? Never too much. Never yeah. too much. <laughs> okay. uh, no, absolutely. Unfortunately, here in California and nationally, but particularly here in California and Ventura County, we are 10 to 12 years behind in developing affordable housing units. There was a study done recently that based on a percentage, Ventura County was number one in the country with the least number of affordable units available. Little Ventura County compared to other places. Right. So that's why we're in the situation we're in today. There literally is not enough units for people to rent, particularly if you're moderate, low income, extremely low income. And so we're trying to resolve that. The state is working hard to uh, increase the amount of funding for developers uh, so that more units can actually move forward. But it takes time. You know, we've been doing a lot, but you know, we need a few more years to get all these projects built so that we can start to feel some relief in uh, rental costs. Okay. Um, yeah. So what is being done to provide that housing, uh, especially for, we've got a lot of, you know, homeless people, seniors, yes. veterans, uh, low wage earners, uh, even people working in the farming communities. Um, there yes. just isn't enough places for these people to live. Um, and what will happen? Will they end up leaving or can can there be a problem uh, solved with uh, with what you're doing? So our piece of it is the funding side where we're okay. trying to help those developers build more af affordable housing. Um, no question that uh, the more units that are built, the more opportunities people have to keep their rent prices down. I mean, years ago, people would spend no more than 30% of their income on their rent or their mortgage. Today, people are spending 50 and 60%, if not more in some cases, on their rent. And that impacts everything else. Right. So the first thing that really has changed in the last couple of years is the amount of funding coming from the federal government to the state of California and the state of California down to the communities to encourage and promote the development of more affordable housing. And we're seeing lots of changes within the cities who, you know, sometimes in the past weren't super supportive about affordable housing, okay. um, are now seeing the impact and recognizing the importance of cities being involved in encouraging development in their communities. Because it, we all win when affordable housing is available uh, 
to the local grocery folks or to our hospitality folks or the people that do that hard labor in the fields to produce the beautiful fruits and vegetables that we all expect and cherish in this community. They can't live in this community if there isn't affordable housing. And that has a heavy economic impact. Right. So I think more and more the communities are recognizing it. Uh, the county's been amazing in providing a variety of different funding sources mm -hmm. to developers and to organizations who play a role in making sure that affordable housing exists. So we're, we're lucky here in Ventura County because we have strong communities and a strong count, county that mm -hmm. recognizes the value of different types of housing. I don't know about you, but I have two 20 year olds and they're still living at home because they can't afford to move out. So, right. and, so and, and the sad part is that many people are going to be in a situation where they'll never be able to buy something um, Badly, because yes. they are so busy trying to play catch up, getting a rental. So, um, you know, absolutely. But we've got we're working on that as well. Uh, okay. The Housing Trust Fund has under it a land trust. Okay. And it's a housing land trust, Ventura County. And we're working in Thousand Oaks. Uh, the city gave the housing land trust a, a piece of property that we're going to work in partnership with a very successful developer to do 78 deed restricted affordable townhomes for sale. So as we work through that model and hopefully it becomes a great success, we hope to do that in other cities and work with cities to donate land to make it affordable for both multifamily, but also for for sale, because that is missing in our in okay. our community right now. That sounds very, very uh, good to hear uh, yes, that that's yes. going to take place. Um, you're the only housing trust fund in Ventura County. Is that correct? We are the only nonprofit. Nonprofit. Uh, independent. Okay. So okay. some of the cities have what's called the housing trust fund, and it's tied to that city. Okay. And they have some funds, but we're the only ones that um, leverage a variety of different sources of funding. And the success of that is, is that we bring funding to affordable housing that wasn't historically part of the financing. So okay. we have the business community, we have foundations who recognize the importance and say, hey, we want to be a part of this solution. And so okay. they invest money in us and we turn it around to generate those units. So it, can homelessness, which is a housing issue, uh, can it get better? Can it get better here? Absolutely. With, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's going to take time. Um, and again, I see both the county and many of our cities really digging deep to right. find solutions to how to support existing right. shelters and new housing models. But we also need the community to recognize that, yes, this kind of housing belongs in your backyard. It yes. belongs in your community. It doesn't belong over there. It belongs where the need is. And okay. so that change, I think, is going to help as well. Um, lots of different things. There's a great community out just in the county off of Ojai that's doing tiny homes for transitional age youth. It's called Mesa. And these are young people who frequently end up homeless because yes. they come out of foster care and sure. have to live on their own. Right. So there's different models coming out that um, aren't your typical one bedroom apartment that's six or seven, 800 square feet, but maybe 200 square feet, much easier to build, much easier to have a lower rent. So the creativity in this community is strong. Uh, we have great partnerships in this county. And so I'm hopeful. It's going to take time, but I'm hopeful. That's good to hear. Um, yeah. So if, if you are out there and you are somebody that is in need of affordable housing um what can you do uh who do you call where do you start why don't you just give us some specifics on that absolutely um it's not easy i will say that just right off the bat okay. but we do have some wonderful resources here we have housing authorities in okay. a couple of the cities and we have the area housing authority okay. so you definitely want to be checking in with them Sadly, there's a very long wait list for those, oh, yeah. but you want to get on those. But the other thing I highly recommend, particularly if you're concerned that you might end up homeless in the next few months because of your situation, is to call 211, just like 911 or just like 411. It's okay. 211. And if you get a voicemail, leave a message. 
and they will call you back. And what they'll do is they'll take your information. And this is an amazing thing that the county has done. It's called the coordinated entry system. So you really should only have to put that information in once. All the different service providers are in that system. They look and then they help you figure out where to go. You can also reach out to your city on your city website. A lot of times they list apartments that are affordable there. That's true. You can reach out to the developers who are building and find out what is their process to get into those newer developments. Are they doing a wait list? How are they doing it? Is it a lottery? Those are all really great um, you know, ways, but you have to do the legwork. You have to reach out and contact those uh, apartment right. buildings that are available. Yeah, be proactive before the Absolutely. situation gets, you know, an, yes. in a dire situation. Um, so would you like to mention your website as well for people who would like more information? Well, thank you. Um, ours is Housing Trust Fund, okay. VC, as in Victor Charlie, dot right. org. Right. And uh, you can get information about our loan programs. Um, there's also great information about where you can find housing. Okay. You can learn about the developments we're doing. And you can also learn about the Housing Land Trust of Ventura County and what we're doing there. If you are one that can invest, we'd love to hear from you because it's really taking everybody partnering to solve this problem. Very good. Well, thank you so very much, Linda Braunschweiger of the Housing Fund Trust Fund of Ventura County uh, for sharing so much good information for all our viewers. Um, you're, you're definitely gonna help a lot of people out there who may be in need and want some answers. So thank you so very much. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. Good, and thank all of you for joining us today on Arventura. We welcome you and we see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.